Hello everyone. Welcome to Botany of Rational for UPSC Examination. In today's video, we are going to learn about the reproduction in lichens. In a previous video, we have studied the general characteristics of the lichens. In this particular video, we are only focusing on the reproduction in lichens. So before starting the video, I request you to join the Telegram channel of the same name that is Botany of Rational for UPSC Examination on the Telegram platform. The link for this channel is given in the description box you can click there and straight away go to the telegram app and join the channel all right so let's learn about the reproduction in lichens now first of all let's have some general idea about what are the lichens as we have studied this in the previous videos as well lichens are nothing but the combination of algae and fungi the one partner is from the algal group while the other partner is from the fungal group and their combination together called as the lichens these lichens are generally grow in a pollution free area because they are quite sensitive to the pollution and that is why they did not grow around the cities all right both these partners shows the great relationship because algae being green in color provide food to the fungi by doing the process called photosynthesis and return fungi provides the water for the, to the algae for performing the photosynthesis so this is a kind of relationship in which both the partners get benefited so reproduction in the lichens is occurs in a various ways first of them is a vegetative reproduction then asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction so in a three ways lichen can reproduce the very first is vegetative reproduction then second asexual reproduction and third one is the sexual reproduction so first we are going to see the vegetative reproduction in a vegetative reproduction, the very first form is the fragmentation. As you can see in this picture, this is the thalli of the lichens. These are thalli upon fragmentation, that is, the fragments of this thalli when separated from the parent plant, they are grow into the completely new thalli. So, by doing the fragmentation of the vegetative parts of the lichen thallus, the lichens can reproduce vegetatively. The second method of vegetative reproduction is by the acidia. Now, these acidia are the elongated outgrowths which can be found in the thallus of the lichens. That is, these are the elongated outgrowths of the thallus which contain both algal as well as the fungal partner. That is, the typical composition of the lichen, that is the algal and the fungal partner both are present in the acidia and they are generally the extension of the thallus which increase the surface area for the various purposes when these acidia which contain both an angular algal and fungal partner got separated from the parent plant they grow into the new thalli all right so this is second method by which the lichens reproduce vegetatively the third method is by soridia now these are soridia are formed on the middle of the thallus. They seem like a patch-like structure. And these soridia are formed inside the structure called soridium. Now these are soridium which contains the soridia contains algal cells which are surrounded by the fungal hypi. So when these algal cells which are surrounded by the fungal hypi which is collectively called soridia separated from the parent plant and when they comes into the contact with suitable algae they starts grow into the new thallus all right so this is how the vegetative reproduction takes place in the lichens that is first by the fragmentation method second by the ecdia and third by the soridia the next method of reproduction in lichen is the asexual reproduction now the method by which the lichen performs the asexual reproduction is by the pycneospores. These pycneospores are born inside the structure called pycnodium. This pycnodium is a flask shaped structure which is present in lichens. Now this pycneospores upon maturing comes out of the lichen thallus from the opening called osteole and from this opening they go outside the body of lichen that is the parent lichen and when these pycneospores comes in contact with the suitable algae they start to form the new thallus all right 
So in our sexual reproduction, in lichen we have pycnospores, which are born inside the structure called pycnodium. It is a plant shaped structure. Upon maturing, these are pycnospores are comes out of the lichen thalli from the opening called ostium. Now then, upon coming in contact with the appropriate algal partner, they form the new thallus. So this is how the asexual reproduction takes place in an lichens. The third type of reproduction in lichens is the sexual reproduction. Now sexual reproduction takes place with the help of two structures. The very first is spermatogonium and second is carpogonium. The spermatogonium is the male sexual organ while the carpogonium is the female sex organ. Now this spermatogonium contains the many non-motile sperms. When these non-motile sperms from the spermatogonium and the female sex organ from the carpogonium are crossed together, they form the ascogenous hypi. Now this ascogenous hypi which is produced due to the crossing of spermatogonium and the carpogonium is undergoes the reduction division. Upon the reduction division, they form the structure called ascospores. Now these ascospores are liberated from the parent plant and remain independent into the environment. When these ascospores come into contact with the suitable algae, they form the new thalli. All right. So one thing is very important to remember here is that in lichen, the sexual reproduction is only brought by the fungal partner. That is, no algal partner is involved in the sexual reproduction. Both these organs, that is spermatogonium and carpogonium, belonging to the fungal partner only. And no algal partner is involved. And that is why the oscospores are typically the fungi structure only. This is a fungi structure, that is the oscospores, when came in contact with the algae, then they form the new thalli. And hence called as the lichen, which is the combination of algae and fungi. So this type of sexual reproduction occurs in the lichens. All right. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please like the video. Please share this video with your friends who are studying the botany. And please subscribe to the botany option channel for UPSC examination. Again, thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next one.